Hello and welcome back to the Scrappy Penguin Knits. I am Stephanie the Scrappy Penguin and I am excited to bring you episode two in my vlog uh, knitting series. These um, videos will share with you my whips, my finished objects, um, possibly some tips or tricks, maybe some reviews, and just um, general updates. So um, I thought we would dive in today with uh, my finished object first. Um, in video number one, I showed you two whips that I had going. Um, one of those was this cardigan that I am wearing. And before I stand up and I show you the cardigan, I just wanted to show you the pattern that I used. Um, this is in my Knit Companion. It is the Smila Cardi. That's the name of the pattern. And let me scroll up here. That is what the cardigan looks like. As you can see, it is um, meant to be worn open. It does not come all the way together in the front. It's meant to be worn like this, just open. Um, there is another picture of it here where she just has her arms at her side. I did not make my sleeves quite as long as hers. I didn't want um, sleeves that went all the way down to uh, my hands. So this is my finished Cardi and I have not blocked this yet. It is shorter in the back and then with short row shaping, longer on the sides. And you can see my sleeves are shorter. Um, that was just how I wanted them. This uh, doesn't interfere with my watch. Um, and I just didn't want them super long. So when I'm standing up and my arms are straight, um, this one actually usually hits me right about here, just before the wrist bone, and that was kind of where I wanted it. So that is my Smila Cardi. And I finished that yesterday, which is why it has not been blocked um, yet. But I'm really happy with it. It's really cozy, it's, it's warm. Um, I actually just got a little chill taking it off because it is not super warm here in Germany. Um, I know it's the end of May, 1st of June, and um, you would think summer, but not in Germany. So <laughs> it's one of the things I'm not gonna miss when we move <laughs> is the weather. Um, being a California girl, I really enjoy my summers. Um, this yarn that I used for this, you can see maybe the there is a slight halo and the yarn is just super, super soft and very comfortable to wear. Um, it is by Plymouth Yarn. It's their Ari Auto yarn. This is 70% baby alpaca, which is why we have that little bit of halo and 7% uh, merino wool and 23% nylon. Um, it is hand wash and dry flat. It comes in a um, 100 gram hank and has 283 yards per hank. I used just over two hanks to knit my sweater and I used the color um, charcoal for mine. I picked up this yarn in California at um, Heartstrings Yarn Company and I will link to them, uh, or Heartstrings Yarn Studio, excuse me. I will link to them below um, in the video description if you are in or around Chico, California. It is a great yarn shop and I highly recommend. I'd actually been eyeing this Ariato yarn since last year. I just didn't want to add to my stash, but as I explained in my last video, I needed a project I could work on on the plane to when, for coming home from California. And this um, was perfect. So really happy with it and plan on getting a lot of wear out of that. Uh, also, while I was at Heartstrings, I did pick up the Chiagu needles and really glad that I chose Chiagu. Um, I've not used their needles before. All of my needles are um, Mither's Pride, which I love, but um, I was really um, happy with these. The, the needles are comfortable. They've got a nice pointy tip because um, these are their lace needles, but I uh, didn't split the yarn. You really didn't have to worry about that with this yarn. Um, the cord is what I really loved. Normally, when you have your needles put away and they're, you know, 
in a loop in a circle like this when you take them out they're still kind of rounded but the chia goo needles have this cord that just comes out and it's just straight and I love that um, it says it is a flexible multi-strand nylon coated memory free steel cable and it really is uh, memory free no matter how um, long you store it uh, in its package like this so I'm probably gonna be buying some more Chia Goo needles now that I have used these I really enjoyed it um, so that's my finished object and I'm really happy with it and going on to my whips I am still of course working on my cowl that I showed you in the last video um, I have not been working on it since that video I've wanted to get my sweater finished uh, but I'm gonna pick it back up and continue knitting on it so hopefully in my next video I'll have more of an update for you really enjoying working on it it's just it is stranded color work with one by one cables throughout and so um, it's something that me personally I have to really focus um, when I'm knitting I can't just be distracted uh, and work on a project like that so I'm getting ready to start a second whip and that's because I want my goal for this year is to have two whips at all times one that is a little more complicated of a pattern that I have to pay attention to for those times when I am able to sit back on the couch and just knit um, uninterrupted um, and then I'm gonna have a second project going that's going to be like my Smila cardigan, which will be something easier to knit, um, you know, maybe with a lot of stockinette or maybe a lot of garter stitch, just something that if we're traveling, I can pick it up and take it. And if I have to set it down mid row, it's not gonna be a big deal because it's gonna be really easy to read the knitting and really easy to know where you've left off if you had to stop mid row. Whereas with this cowl, um, I don't stop mid row. If I'm working on a row, I finish that row, update my counter, and then I'll put it down. Um, but my granddaughter is coming out, my oldest granddaughter. Uh, she just turned 14, and she's gonna come out to Germany for this, uh, at least a month in the summer. And I'm really excited about that. So we're gonna have some trips planned um, within Germany and hoping to get a trip over to the UK while she's here. She really wants to go there. So um, I want to have a project that I can pick up and grab for our traveling while she's here. So I have Interweaves um, Summer 2019 magazine. Um, obviously I've had for a while. I have yet to knit anything out of it, but I am going to start the Malachite Tea. And this is it. I love these big lace work sleeves. And then the body, as you can see, there's a little bit of lace work at the bottom, but then it's just stockinette. So um, what I did is I took a look at the pattern. I read how it's worked. Um, it's going to be bottom up to um, the underarms and then you'll, there'll be some shaping and things uh, for the sleeves. And of course the sleeves themselves are a little more complicated, but as far as the sweater, the body of the sweater, um, it's just gonna be something easy to pick up and go and work on. And it is knit in linen. Um, the pattern called for the Fiber Natura Flax, which is a 100% linen yarn. And I have a pretty decent size yarn stash. And so um, I have some linen on hand. And I, when I was in Spain, uh, when I was in Barcelona, I went to a local yarn shop owned by a lady from the States, actually, who's been living in Spain for several years. Uh, it's called All You Knit Is Love, and I'll be doing a video about um, the shop and the yarn that I purchased there. But some of the yarn that I purchased was a linen yarn because they had beautiful linen yarn that was dyed there uh, in Barcelona. And, um, at the time, I thought, uh, you know, a linen top, a linen tee or a linen tank, something like that. Um, I didn't have a pattern in mind, so I just grabbed three hanks. I was like, okay, that's 1,500 meters. That should be enough for a little top, and it should be. I um, figured out how much of the 
uh, Fibra Natura, I would need of their flax. And so I know that's how many yards of yarn I would need. And I have more than enough in my three hanks. So um, yeah, I plan on casting that on probably one day this week. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. So that's it for my video today. Just a quick update on my finished object, my whip, uh, what I thought of the Chia Goo needles, as well as the Plymouth Ariato yarn. Um, <clears throat> and I will be making another video, um, hopefully one day this week. It, definitely within this next month, I'll be making a few more videos that I think will be interesting. One of them is going to be a tour of my yarn stash. I have a lot of it not a lot of it. I have some of it <laughs> organized on Ravelry where I put pictures and quantities in my Ravelry stash. Um, I'm going to try and get that done with all of my yarn, and um, but I plan on doing a stash tour. And then um, a knitting bag declutter, I'm going to call it, because I have an abundance of knitting bags. I have Delacue from way back. I've got um, some of the Namaste bags, quite a few of those. I've got a couple of the new Jimmy Beans wool line um, in the Maker's bags in their waxed canvas, and I've got some yarn pop bags. Um, so anyways, we're going to do a bag declutter. I need to get rid of some of those bags that I don't use or have never used. I actually have some bags I purchased that I've just never even used, not once. So, um, yeah, we're going to go through those. I'll tell you what my favorite bags are, because um, I do have a couple. And um, let's see, was that it? I think that was it. Just, oh, oh no, it's not needles. I will also be do going through all of my needles, getting the sets put together in their case. Well, not necessarily their cases, because some of them came in big boxes, but in uh, needle cases. Um, I'm trying to get everything organized because we will be moving possibly, well, definitely at the end of July. Um, my husband is retiring from the military and we will be moving somewhere. We don't know where. <laughs> it could be the States. It could be somewhere else in Europe. We could be staying in Germany. We have no idea. So um, I'm just trying to go get my knitting stash uh, organized and, um, and ready for our move because I want to have definitely stuff out that I bring with me um, to work on in that transitional phase because getting your household goods delivered can take some time and um, plus I want to have the stash in my Ravelry in case anything gets missing because that does happen every military move something is either lost broken stolen something um, so that being said in case a the crate that has my yarn stash in it gets lost. Um, I want to have my inventory on my Ravelry. So um, yeah, that's all stuff I'll be working on and I will share those videos with you guys here on the channel. So um, be looking for those. And also I'm going to be starting my Where'd You Get That Yarn series because the yarn that I'm going to use for the Malachite Tea is some of the yarn that I purchased on one of my trips. I figure I will start with Barcelona. So that video should be coming out within the next week or so as well. And um, yeah, happy knitting everybody. <laughs>